Hello there, so welcome to this video. I'm talking about mediumship. And what is mediumship? Mediumship is a vast array of different um, different abilities that we have. So if any of you love like X-Men, Marvel, um, you can understand that all these different characters, especially like in X-Men, the, the mutant gene as they call it, uh, you've got all these different characters with all these different abilities. You've got Wolverine with the claws and the mutant healing. You've got Rogue, which has all these, um, you know, crazy, like, psychic abilities. And um, there's all, you know, Cyclops, lasers from his eyes and, and super hearing and psychic. Charles Xavier, the, the professor, who is just a super psychic and can connect and communicate with other mutants and people out there and control reality. Um, these are all just different examples, but this is a bit too hyped up. It's too much, you know, it's entertainment. But the reality of, of consciousness, of people's abilities, goes far, far, far than you, your mind can believe. There are people out there who can withstand heat, withstand cold. Um, there are people who can bend objects, move objects with their mind, have super strength, super, like, uh, all sorts of things past their body. We're all superheroes. We're all super in some way, in our own unique way. If you feel like you are here on this planet and you have a purpose, you do have a purpose. By being love and giving love and spreading knowledge and wisdom and doing the best that you can. Perhaps you are an investor. Perhaps you are an entrepreneur. Perhaps you are a person that is writing music or is creating music or is helping care for people, doctors, singers, people who create houses, the list is endless. You'll have unique skills. But the most important thing is mediumship, intuition. That is something that we all have and we can gain more clarity with. Found that also those that seem to be more psychic and more in tune are usually those who have had past life, uh, well, this life traumas or even past life traumas where it has shifted their awareness, shifted their reality, and got them to question about reality. Maybe they have had a near-death experience, or perhaps they are a twin or a triplet, and so they're used to having that, that synchronicity and that awareness of doing things when their other brother or sister has been doing something also very much the same. So we all have these unique abilities in us. We're all X-Men at heart, not too hyped up, like the Avengers or the Marvel, you know, universe, the cinematic universe, as much as I love those movies, though that is just entertainment. But what is mediumship? Mediumship is the ability to be a medium of this reality, of being the listener, the hearer, the seer, the psychic, the, you know, the, the scholar, uh, you know, the, the wise man or woman, whoever that may be, we all have this unique ability within us to tap into information that is beyond us. And even me doing these videos, I'm giving you information and a knowledge that I know within myself, but there are things channeling through me which um, I'm aware of and then I'm getting to remember. So um, there are different ways of mediumship. There's channeling, there's being a psychic artist, uh, people who also write lyrics, write songs. Um, if you're watching this and, well, I'm sure you're watching this right now, otherwise <laughs> who else is watching this who isn't? Um, but have you ever done something creative, written an article, a book, a paragraph, a sentence to somebody, it's just flowed, or you had information from somewhere else? Um, it may not happen all the time. It may have happened once or twice in the past. And you wondered, hmm, where did that idea come from? Like, hmm, where did that, that's a great idea. Where did that come from? It came from you because that start, that source of that wanting, that desire to, to do something was there. But we have these guides around us. We have several guides and um, beings, energetic beings, which, you know, are human, have lived physical lives, who are assisting us in our physical lives to help us achieve what we want to achieve, to get us to be, do, and, and want however we want, as long as what we are doing doesn't hurt another person or ourselves, then they are assisting us in our process. Like, okay, this person wants to, to be a painter. They want to be a shoemaker. Okay, they want to create this. Okay, this is going to help create, you know, help humanity. And sometimes, you know, uh, information and the way we do things comes from nowhere. So those who are more tapped into 
uh, reality or having an understanding about reality in a way of they are just aware of it. They're aware of themselves and their placement in in this world, in this physical world, as opposed to the afterlife. And those who are have an understanding beyond the physical usually have a bit more of an easier understanding following their intuition. I've covered another video before about how to follow your intuition. It's very, very simple. It can take a long time to master. I'm still trying to master it, but all it is is about listening, listening and following your guidance of your body because your body is sometimes showing you a bit like a puppet. You know, if your guides are trying to show you to do something, they're trying to look, get you to look somewhere and oh, okay, I noticed that. But have you ever done that? Have you ever been driving, if those who drive or, or on the road or wherever you are, you're on the road or pavement or walking and suddenly you turn around and you don't know why you're turning around, but then you see somebody else turning around to look at you and you're like, okay, what? I didn't see them there, <laughs> but my intuition pulled me and I saw them. And so, you know, our eyes met, um, we acknowledge each other, we continued, but how do we feel that pull? It's because we are all tapped into this energetic universe, this energetic playground that we play with energy and use energy, utilize it. Um, so it's kind of like you have an auric field. At the moment, this is my body and beyond my body is, you know, the auric field, which is static electricity. Um, you know, you can't charge your phone by it, obviously, but we, it's what charges and energizes our chakra system, which all our chakras are connected to each other every one of our organs in our body. And so that energy field, which is allowing and absorbing all this um, biophotons and energy beyond the physical into our body is also very supple and intelligent and able to communicate with other, uh, other auric fields and other energy systems as well. So when those two auric fields or energy systems from say a person in the other car who some reason felt drawn to look over to me and so our eyes met our org fields were sort of connected and and well connected it's the same goes for when you have a connection with a friend or a family or, or anybody and you start thinking about them and you wonder well, okay i'm start thinking about this person and then all of a sudden the phone rings or you get a text message or or you know a social media message and it's like oh it's that person i was just thinking of that may happen that doesn't mean that you're psychic it's the this is just a normal, natural phenomena that everyone has and does. And usually couples and partners who are very, have great chemistry and uh, who get on very fine and, you know, connect, they often pick up information of each other, especially going through breakups and um, if you've gone through fights or even positive feelings that you felt the other person within your energy field, you know, because you are, your energies are bound, they are twined, they are together. And so you start to pick up on things that aren't within you. And this is another thing as well, that being, you know, medium, having a mediumistic uh, body and energy field is that you have to understand what is your emotional body and what is others' emotional body. Uh, sometimes, and I've fallen to this before in the past, is that um, I've done things which um, hasn't been for my own um, doing or wanting. It's been from somebody else around me in my energy field where I've been picking up on them, you know, psychically without even knowing it. Uh, for example, I, many years ago, I had this strong desire to buy a pet rat. I had no idea. I just knew I had to get it and, and get it done and out with. And I got it, had it in my room, got the cage, had the rat. It was a white rat. You, you know, he was fine. It was cool. Um, I had all the food and I was just sitting there thinking, I don't even know why I've got this. And then I went to work uh, next day and uh, I was working in care work and the lady who was also teaming up with me, um, I said about, you know, she said, oh, what, what have you been up to? Oh, I got a pet rat yesterday. And she's like, really? I've been one on one for the last few months. I just haven't had time to get around to it. So I said to her, oh, this must be for you then. And she looked at me a bit puzzled and then her, her face changed to be a bit more delighted. She's like, but, but you, it's yours. And I was like, yeah, I didn't really want to buy one, but I had this really strong desire to, and I didn't know why. I said, but now it makes sense. And she still looked a bit puzzled, but she sort of understood. And um, we did talk about it again, I believe that, you know, 
she did seem a bit puzzled and confused that I had bought this pet rat and I didn't want a pet rat and um, not only that it did freak out my my mother at the time and <laughs> which wasn't a good thing but um, yeah now I believe she's you know she had that pet rat for a long time she's very happy and uh, I was like okay I don't know you know she just paid me back for everything that I, I bought it and yeah you know happy days basically um, so you have to be careful about you know how how in tune you are to to things and reality because sometimes you know emotions and thoughts and th feelings can get confused with your own and you may be picking up on somebody else's so it's very important to relax and um, take your time and if you're studying mediumship or studying reality and knowing more about who, what, when, where you are as a person, as a being, as a multi-dimensional being, then understand that life really you know, offers you so many opportunities and it's just for you just to step into it and go along with what you want to do. Everyone is a medium, everyone is psychic. It depends if you are using it uh, metaphysically or spiritually. Uh, in your work being perhaps it could be a nurse a doctor it could be anything writing poetry books it could be doing therapies whatever it is everything in life is about balance and if you can utilize and understand about reality and mediumship and utilize it in your own work then you know life can really take a great opportunity for you by just listening and really listening to what is out there and and your flow perfectly with life and life becomes so much more easier and able to sort of tune into. Um, another experience that I had working on the land here at the retreat, um, building the, the gardens, which was very beautiful, is when we, um, when I had uh, made the stream, um, helped put the, the stones in the stream either side and got the pebbles and I used my intuition without even knowing it. I just was had this excitement this this creativity that i wanted to create this like rockery and put all these rocks together and each one fitted perfectly like it was some sort of puzzle that needed to be together so it was very beautiful to uh, experience that and and do that and um yeah just using that intuition that okay this is exactly the right um size stone i need to fill this this hole here and it worked perfectly and all because you know, you're in the flow. And when you're in the flow, things flow and it's easier. So thank you for watching. Um, be a medium, be psychic, be in tune. And important thing, try not to overthink about things. Just do what you love and listen. Listen to the guidance that you are getting. It may not be audible, like very, like I'm speaking to you right now. It could just be a feeling. But follow your heart, follow your desires. And um, as long as it's all positive and in love and good for the world, then it should all flow beautifully. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.